Are you between the ages of 18 to 35 and you're feeling completely lost in your life right now? You don't know what to do, you don't know what's next in your career, in your life, in your relationships. Then you might be actually going through a quarter life crisis. So this is a multi-part series uh, that's available for you for free taken from my quarter life mastery program. Uh, make sure you subscribe and you stay tuned for every single video because it's literally um, going to change your life. What's up guys, John Collinsworth here again with another video for quarter life mastery. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what is a quarter life crisis, uh, what it is, basically the three areas of crisis and signs of quarter life crisis, right? So keep in mind that, you know, even if you're not going through a quarter life crisis, maybe going to a different type of crisis, existential crisis, can still benefit a lot from this program. You know, if, even if you only have a few signs of this, right, don't let it detract you from the rest of the program. Uh, because, you know, a quarter life crisis, or whatever, it's it's really individual to the person, but it tends to be for, this, for similar reasons, but it's always different for everyone. So don't get boxed in any definition, right? What is a quarter life crisis? So according to Wikipedia, in popular psychology, a quarter life crisis is a crisis involving anxiety over the direction and quality of one's life, which is most commonly experienced in a period of ranging, uh, in a period ranging from a person's early 20s up to their mid 30s. Although a quarter life crisis can begin at as early as 18, it is defined by clinical psychologist Alex Folk as a period of insecurity doubt and disappointment surrounding your career, relationships and financial free situation. So really it's a period of transition, it's a period of transition in, in your life where you're not exactly sure, you have anxiety over the direction of your life, right? The, the word direction here is important. It's really a period between the age 18 to, to 35. You know, maybe you're just getting out of school, you maybe you're still in school, maybe in college or getting out of high school or into university. And you're just not sure that this is the right path for you. You have sort of this doubt in your, in yourself that's like, well, you know, yes, I could be doing that, but it just doesn't feel right. And you know, all all your friends and society and your, even your family is telling you you have to be going a certain way, and you just don't want to follow that path because of the pressure of society and your friends and your family. You just don't know who you are anymore because they tell you a bunch of stuff and. You don't know if you should follow it. You don't know, and and you're also worried that you might not make money. You know, if you don't, or you might lose security if you try to do your own thing and be yourself, right? So it's all this sort of pressure from the outside world that is pushing you into a direction that you don't want to go. So that doesn't have to be in, just in career. It can be in friendship, in education, whatever, whatever area of life, right? Uh, but that's mostly the gist of a quarter life. And how does a crisis happen? In my opinion, a crisis happens when your current way of going through the world, the cur your current way of operating in the world no longer works. So for example, maybe your whole life you, you thought that you know, you'd be, uh, you have to go to school and you know, find a job after and you know, become a lawyer and have a family, have a house, have two, two to three kids and then retire and then you die. You thought that this was the path for you. And then you follow this path and you realize that it's not working. It's just not working for you. It's just not aligned with you. And then you have a crisis because you realize this is not where I want to go. This is not what I want in my life. And because this is not what I want, you know, you let go of, of something and you have nothing else to hold on to. So that's sort of this empty void that you're left with. And I like that I call like sort of this cloud of nothingness that you put yourself in. You have no purpose, no clarity, no nothing because you have nothing else to hold on to because you let go of the old paradigm. Now you have nothing else to hold on to. Maybe you were at the paradigm where before you wanted safety, you wanted money, you wanted to make sure that you go into a certain field of study or degree or whatever, and that you get out of it and you have some security. You know, you have money, you have, you have a job that will last you for life, but then you realize that, wait, it's, it's not just security that I want. I want fulfillment. I want achievement. I want to, you know, achieve who I am as a person. I want to fulfill myself. And if you don't do it, then you're just going to sink deeper into your, into that hole. What are the main areas of crisis? The three main, main areas of crisis that I like to call are uh, identity, 
career and relationships, right? Th those are ma the main things in quarter life crisis. So identity basically meaning who am I, right? Who are you? What are your values? What do you stand for? What do you want, right? Your career, basically, what do you want out of life? What do you want to do for a living, right? It doesn't have to be a job. It could be, you could call it also a purpose, you know, which is what I'll refer to you later. And there's also relationships. Number three, which is, you know, what kind of people do I want to have in my life? So what are some signs of quarter life crisis? Now that you know what it is, why does it occur? And, you know, what are the main signs? So I'm just going to tell you some of the signs and you don't have to have all the signs to be in a crisis. You could have some of the signs or you could have maybe all of the signs and even more, right? But let's just look at some of them. So number one is you feel unmotivated every day. So you lack motivation every day. And the emphasis here is on every day. Why? Because, you know, everyone feels unmotivated from time to time. Everyone is lazy from time to time. Nobody is like, 100% always productive, that's pretty much impossible. But if every single day, it's been like that, you know, for months, even for a year or more, right, then there might be a huge sign that you're in a crisis because, you know, nothing drives you anymore. You don't have any reason to get out of bed. You have no reason to be motivated for anything because there's nothing you enjoy in your life anymore. So that's, that's huge. So keep that in mind. Number two is that you see no good options around you, right? Sort of this, because there's no good things around you, you can't commit to anything. So you have this sort of decision paralysis, you know, analysis paralysis, I like to call. So because, you know, you don't like what you're studying, let's say in, in college, you don't want to study that, okay? So then, but you don't know what else to do, right? Oh, you could do nursing. Well, you could, uh, you know, study in arts. Nah, you could be an engineer. Nah, There's, you don't see anything worthwhile to you. And the more you look, it's like the more confused you feel. And, you know, your parents tell you this and your friends tell you that. You just can't choose. You're completely paralyzed. And because you're paralyzed, you do nothing. That's also a huge sign. Sign number three is you're resentful of all the people around you, your family, your friends, and you know, your coworkers and all that. Another sign is that you find ways to escape, right? Uh, but you constantly find ways to escape, right? Because yes, we escape from time to time, you know, you have a stressful day, yeah, okay, you play some video games, but you escape constantly. And how much do you escape? If you always need, feel like you need you know, to be going out and partying and meeting girls and, you know, getting drunk or you need to, you know, do drugs and all of these things, right, that, you know, we all do in our early 20s, not, not all of us, but <laughs> that, you know, some of us do, then that could be a sign. And, you know, I remember one of, one of the people I spoke to that didn't become my client, but almost did. You know, we spoke, you know, a while ago. And he decided not to get the coaching with me because, you know, he didn't have the finance finances for that, whatever, that's fine. And then one year later, he reached out again and he said, hey, I'm still at the same spot I am. I thought I could figure out on my own, but I didn't. And now, uh, you know, what I'm doing is I'm escaping by, you know, chasing after girls and it's just making me feel more miserable. If you're chasing after something, okay, that could be a sign that you're headed in the wrong direction. So also, you're, if you're bored all the time, constantly bored, that's also a sign of a quarter life crisis also. If you indulge in unhealthy habits, that's also a way of escape. If you watch a lot of self-help videos, hoping that it will make you feel better or bring you more clarity, that's also a huge sign because, you know, you're, it means you're stuck. It's something isn't working and you need help. If you feel disconnected from your job and your work environment, uh, if you feel overworked at your job or on the edge of burnout also, because probably the job is in line with who you are and your values. And also if you compare yourself to other people constantly, right? If you compare yourself to other people, it's really common sort of at that age range where, you know, some people are going to college, some people are going to university, maybe you aren't that great in school, for example, and then you compare yourself to others who are already engineers, already lawyers, already doctors, already super successful at their school or in their career, and you're still living with your parents in their basement and you haven't finished school and you don't want to go to school because you hate school and you not go to school and you know you start comparing yourself to others that way. That's also a huge sign. So you're very cynical and unmotivated at your job. That's a sign. You hate your degree or what you're studying. That's a huge sign. If you don't know who you don't know who you are anymore, you don't know what you want in life anymore. You worry that you are behind in life. 
compared to others. That's huge. There's this sort of this feeling of I am behind or I'm not where I should be. I'm not living in my full potential. When you're going through a card like crisis, this can happen to you. You feel like nothing has meaning, right? Or that life is meaningless. So that's sort of more of the existential crisis territory, but that can also overlap with a core of life crisis as in a crisis as to where you are at in life, right? So basically in summary, a quarter life crisis really is a crisis about, you know, where you are at in life right now. The emphasis of quarter life is because, you know, it's the quarter of your life. You're already sort of quarter of a way through and you feel like you're already not going in the right direction. And you know that if you keep going in that direction, that negative direction, nothing is gonna go well in your life. So very simple action step, okay, before you go to the next video, grab a pen and paper, grab your journal and ask yourself, what problems do I currently struggle with the most in my life right now? All right, in your life right now, your yeah, emphasis on right now, what, is the, what are the main problems right now? You just wanna be clear about them. If it's that you don't have a purpose, if you don't have clarity about them, if you, if you feel lost and confused, just write this down, you know, what are the main problems in your life right now, just so that you have clarity on at least what is the problem. And then next you're gonna ask yourself, what could be some ways that I could resolve these problems? I don't want you to go ahead and, you know, you know, oh yeah, you know, hire, a, you know, spend thousands of dollars on coaches or whatever and, you know, buy self-help books. Don't take massive, you don't have to take action right now, you know, while you could, just write them down just so that you can sort of clear up your mind and kind of have at least clarity on the problem. So do that right now and I'll see you in the next video. So if you enjoyed this video on what is a quarter life crisis, then stay tuned for part two where we'll lay the foundations for you in order to excel in your life and know exactly how to navigate, navigate this quarter life crisis. In the meantime, you can sign up for my free training that's gonna be taken down forever in a few weeks if it's not taken down already. So click on the link below and I'll see you there.